42. Problems About two months ago, someone asked me a very interesting question. In your experience, what are the main problems people have? He asked. He wasn't asking about open and obvious ones, but the subtle problems we as sinners create for ourselves. It was an easy question for me to answer, because the problem areas are such common and obvious ones. First, they're self-pity. The worst and most cancerous problem of man. We are all prone to it. In self-pity, we read all situations in terms of ourselves. We are the slighted, hurt, offended ones. Self-pity destroys our sense of reality. We make ourselves a centre, not God, not other and more important people, nor life's realities as such. Self-pity rests on an enormous and inflated egoism which demands so much of God and man that we are bound to feel hurt because there can be no delivery on our expectations. Second, and this surprised the questioner, there's a very serious and common feeling, giving unasked for advice. We tell our friends, relatives and almost anyone handy how to run their lives, rear their children, vote, think, dress, talk, live and whatever else we can think of. We're always full of advice for others, but unwilling to hear any ourselves or put it into practice. We act as though we are God's generous right hand, ladling out advice with a flow of self-righteousness and then wondering why people are offended. Advice is only good when asked for, and then sparingly and in very small doses. Moreover, we had better not give advice unless we ourselves can take it and act on it. Third, there's the common problem of handling money. It's not money itself which is the problem. We are, in our attitude towards it and our handling of it. Money tests us. Are we responsible or irresponsible? Do we use money in a godly manner or do we use it as a means of power, of buying friendship, showing off, and so on? These three things are basic to most of the troubles people have, but people rarely face up to these problems. They prefer to blame someone or something else. Almost all of our problems are of our own making. If we as sinners coddle our problems, we're in trouble with God and man.